Hey, this is chapter 9.6, Translate and Classify Conic Sections. So we're going to be doing kind of a review of our four types of conic sections that we've learned throughout this chapter. Starting with the circle, we have an equation of x minus h squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Generally, our circle has this form. And r is our radius. Moving on to our ellipse. So our ellipse, parabola, and hyperbola each have a horizontal axis and vertical axis. So we each have, we have two equations based on which one the ellipse parabola is facing. So for horizontal axis of the ellipse, we have x minus 2 h, excuse me, x minus h squared over a squared plus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. For a parabola, we have y minus k squared equals 4p x minus h. For our hyperbola, we have x minus h squared over a squared minus y minus k squared over b squared equals 1. And if you're ever confused between the ellipse and the hyperbola in terms of their equations, just remember that the hyperbola always will have a negative sign, which tells us whether our x or y is being negative or positive, and therefore which way it will open. So for our vertical axis, we have x minus h squared over b squared plus y minus k squared over a squared equals 1. For our parabola, we have x minus h squared equals 4p y minus k. Finally, y minus k squared over a squared minus x minus h squared over b squared equals 1. So once again, the difference between the horizontal axis and the vertical axis formulas is whether for example, our hyperbola here opens up and down, but it can also open left and right. Same with our parabola, it can open up or down, and our ellipse can be long instead of tall. So in this section, we're going to be given an equation and we need to graph it. So first, it's helpful to identify what type of conic section this is. You can probably already tell, but this is going to be a circle. We know that our circle equation is x minus h squared plus y squared plus y minus k squared equals r squared. Therefore, this fits that form and we can identify our hk as 2, negative 3. Once again, our hk is the center. Now, we know that 9 is in the place of our r squared. So we know that r squared equals 9, therefore r, or radius, is 3. From this, we can gather that we need to have our points, which are each 3 units from the center. So we have 2 plus 3, negative 3 is a point, 2 minus 3, negative 3, 2, negative 3 plus 3, and 2, negative 3, minus 3. These will give us our points, which are exactly 3, point, 3 units away from the center. And rather than just having our center at 0, 0, once again, we have our center at 2, negative 3. So our points are 5, negative 3, negative 1, negative 3, 2, 0, and 2, negative 6. You can see our circle here with its center at 2, negative 3. And it has 3 units as its radius. So we have 3 here, 3 here, etc. Next, we're told to graph y minus 3 squared over 4 minus x plus 1 squared over 9. And once again, it's going to be useful to identify what type of conic section this is. So based on the fact that there is a negative sign in this equation, we know that this is a hyperbola.
Let's next identify our hk value, which is negative 1, 3. Next, we have our a and b values. So our b value is b squared equals 9. Therefore, b equals 3. For our a value, a squared equals 4. So a equals 2. Our vertices are going to be negative 1, 5 and negative 1, 1. This is because we took our center at negative 1, 3 and we went 2 units in our A and 3 units in our B. So we have our vertices. And then we can also use the A and B values to know where our the height and width are of our rectangle. So we have 2a equals 4, 2b equals 6. To find our c value or our foci, we know that c equals root 13, approximately 3.6. So our foci are going to be at negative 1, 6.6, .6, and negative 1, negative 0.6. Once again, this is because our center is at negative 1, 3. So here is our hyperbola. You'll notice that we have negative 1, 3 as our center. And this is from the center of our rectangle, which is 4 units by 6 units. So 4 units, so we can go 1, 2, 3, so 6 units. And 4 units tall. I do that wrong, but generally, okay, I'll start over. We have our center at negative 1, 3. Our rectangle is 6 units by 4 units. We draw our asymptotes through the rectangle, and then we drew our curves. Our foci are at negative 1, 6.6, .6, and negative 1, negative 0 0.6. So our discriminant, which again is b squared minus 4ac, can be used to identify what type of conic section we have. So if we just plug in b squared minus 4ac into any of our equations, and for that value we have something that is less than 0, So less than 0, and b is 0, and a is c, we know that we have a circle. If b is also less than 0, but, excuse me, if b squared minus 4ac is also less than 0, but this time b is not 0, or a is not c, we have an ellipse. If b squared minus 4ac equals 0, we have a parabola. And if b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, we have a hyperbola. This is if a problem will ask you what type of conic section something is, and you don't need necessarily need to graph it, you can just use the discriminant.